Oh, and not the start that Leia wanted, but uh, she kind of smirking it off, and here we go, 1-0. Wow. Doing a great job moving them around here, keep them back. So that's how it's going to be, honey. Huh, yeah, that's so how it's going to be. If that's an indication <laughs> of exactly what uh, what this uh, match is going to turn out to be, then I am very excited. And thank God we have lights because right. it's going to take a while. That's a great for a uh, second point. on it. One, two, two here early in game one. Good leave from Drake there off Rob's block. We're at 2 2 2. Or sorry, 2 2 1. Oh, 2 2 2. I was correct the first time. Go with your gut. Yep, you're right. Oh, Vivian wow. sitting on it. I mean, they really <laughs> turned that point around. They had incredible defense to stay mm -hmm. into it, and uh, that, that was incredible pickleball right there. Oh, yeah. So this is a different Vivian uh, than in years past or even months past you're seeing a lot more aggressive vivian david here uh than before i like it and and she's got to play that way if they're gonna continue at this pace definitely got three two two Now, Drake not trying to hit a winner there. He's actually trying to go at Rob's body. Rob just able to get out of the way of that. Oh, there it is. I like this Vivian. This is a little different Vivian than I'm used to seeing. I like it. You know, she still has that yeah. smile on her face out there. Yeah, it's very deceiving. <laughs> And there's the neutralization right there from Leia Jansen by keeping that dink with some purpose at her feet and low. It's going to neutralize Vivian able to attack that ball. Oh. <laughs> Great shot from Viv. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to hurt a little bit. Mm -hmm. That one will sting. Wow, 
and Rob just continuously teeing off on that ball. Yeah, and, and Drake's going to block every one mm -hmm. of those. And, and Leia is too, but the problem was if she swung at that. She just needs to check that up and, and try and drop that back in. Unless she's going to get on top of that, that's going to be a tough ball to put away. Good leave. Good shot. Now, it's not a bad move from Vivian. She almost half earned there, but mm -hmm. Leia sitting in the middle, ready for that attack and just able to put that in the void. Serve went a little bit long there. Mm -hmm. Incredible point. Again, I saw that all last weekend. You're, if Drake is able to put a paddle on the ball, it's coming back. And he does such a good job of even resetting those balls, making them not as attackable as Rob would like. That's a great point there. War of attrition right there. Who was going to outlast the other? Oh. That's a killer right there. 6-2-2 two, two here for David and Nunnery in game one of this semifinal match. Winner goes to the winner's bracket final. That's good pressure by Jansen. We need Jansen and Bernstein to get on a little bit of a roll here and get back in this first game. So Leia getting balls that she knows that she can put away and just getting a little frustrated with her not being able to do what she wants with the ball. Just wide. Now as your opponent, you see Leia get that physically and emotionally frustrated. You know, I'm going to want to go at her. Mm -hmm. You know, you just want that as an opponent. You want that to kind of boil over. But again, Leia, a veteran, is not going to let that bother her. Yeah, because you also don't want to hold it in either. Correct, correct. Yeah. Got to find that balance. That's a great point by Jansen right there to take control. A couple good backhand rolls finished by a forehand winner. So you're seeing too when right there when Leo was straight up against Vivian, when ball went to Vivian, Leo almost took a step back to create some room and space against Vivian hitting that ball hard and driving it at her.
Exactly, I had it. So you're seeing Drake and Lauren right now are doing that kind of, they were stacking earlier, I think. But I see them wanting to go cross court now with Drake and mm -hmm. Vivian instead of Leia and Vivian. Oh, oh, too close. There's nothing she could do with that. Nothing. Ball was like sitting on the net. Yeah. Six three one here in game one, semifinal match. Leia's going to figure that out. She's just overcooking that forehand winner. It's been out by like a foot each time. I think she's done about two or three times. Nice job there by Leia. Good pressure. I don't know what was more impressive there. The very well controlled flick law or uh, flick driver and or the very nicely defended uh, you know responses to it. Right. Oh, great eye by Drake there. Great shot there. Good defense from Rahab, but Drake with even better shot. So we are at 6-7 here. Time out from Nunnery and David. That's right. We'll be right back after this. Does life sometimes cause you extreme heartache or stress? Do you suffer from seasonal allergies or the common cold? Then maybe you should consider Eddie and Webby. Eddie and Webby most likely won't be able to help with any of these symptoms, but Eddie and Webby do provide high quality pickleball content on YouTube. Rare yet sometimes frequent side effects of tuning into Eddie and Webby may include uncontrollable laughter, severe entertainment, loss of appetite, or a total waste of time. Eddie and Webby may not be right for everybody, but if you like pickleball, Eddie and Webby might be exactly what you're looking for. All right, guys, we're back after this timeout. David and Nunnery trying to take that momentum away from Jansen and Bernstein here as they've caught up 6-7 here. Uh, we'll see if that timeout worked for them. Of course, want to thank our referee on center court here, Andy Jones, USA Pickleball certified referee. Also a very nice person as well. She is. <laughs> like most people. Well, one of the best. Wow, great set up there by Bernstein. And what he did was flip middle, not flip middle, but dinked middle to cause a little confusion there. Ball got popped up. He put it away. Yeah, and we're at 7-7, seven, seven, evened up here in game one. Oh, great shot. I think Rob wanted that one back as soon as he tried to flip that. He flipped that from like three inches off the ground. That's too low. I love Leia. Mm -hmm. She's awesome. She's 
she's <laughs> Rob's apologizing and she's like, it didn't hurt. I gotta get my head out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great pressure dink from Vivian David right there, putting it at the shoe tops of Leah Jansen. One motion, no? No good. Nope. And we're tied again, 8-8-1 eight, eight, here. Rob got what he wanted. He wants that one back. He knows that that's a, a shot that he can put away mm -hmm. right there from the transition area. Uh, and I think the last shot caused that shot. So a little frustration boils over into the next shot. You can't let that happen. The good attack from Vivian David there to put the pressure on Drake. His block goes a little high and able to put it at Leia Jansen's shoe tops again. Good spot from Nunnery there down the middle. And we got a side out here, 8-8-1. Great patience. Vivian, this new Vivian with these attack balls, I love it. Playing a little more aggressive, putting that pressure on. See, and it's almost right now we're seeing whoever is attacking a little sooner and finding that ball to attack is, is getting the upper hand right now. And I just don't see Bernstein and Jansen attacking as much as David and Nunnery right now. Now attacking right balls. Right, yes. <laughs> not, not that one. <laughs> not that one. It's not just attacking any ball. It's got to be the right ball. Like those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's attackable. Yeah. A rare miss from uh, Drake Bernstein on a reset there. You go, you go. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Great get by Drake. Showing that athleticism. That Georgia Bulldog grit. <laughs> Those of you guys that don't know, Drake Bernstein played at University of Georgia and is now the associate head coach for tennis at the University of Georgia. So that's where the bulldog came into play. I did not know that. Oh, Thank see? you for clarifying. Yeah. Absolutely. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Great shot there by Rob Nunnery going behind Leia 
she had to cover middle and he flipped backside and looked like from here got the line. And we're at 10-9-1, game point here in game one. A ah, little bit too much from Bernstein and game one goes to David and Nunnery, 11-9 here in this mixed pro semifinal. That's right, we'll be coming to game two here shortly. Don't go anywhere. guys we're back here we're in between games one and two game one going to David and Nunnery over Jansen and Bernstein 11-9 uh, well contested match throughout um, it's basically a war of attrition for this match it's who can outlast who but we were seeing uh, David and Nunnery a little more aggressive uh, than Jansen and Bernstein and that kind of worked to their advantage there at the end yeah, I don't know that any of the teams need to necessarily make any adjustments here. Uh, they can keep playing their game, and as you saw, there were some of some incredible points in that last game, and I hope we see that through game two. Oh, definitely expect more of the same here. Um, but you know, let's see if if Jansen and Bernstein can figure it out that maybe they need to attack a little more and put a little more pressure uh, yeah. because they're leaving it up to Nunnery and David to attack, and it just didn't work out in their favor in the end there, and they take. Uh, the L in game one, 11 9. Oh, and that's a good start there for Jansen and Bernstein as they want to get off to a good start. Leia bouncing around a little bit more here. A little bounce to her step. Let's see if that energy can uh, come into play here. A mm. couple shots there she would want back. Yeah. I think she, yeah, she got what she wanted. Put that first ball right at Vivian's feet. Good job. Good job inserting himself. Nunnery um, stepping in and coming almost across the left side of Vivian's body to put that ball behind Jansen. But also being patient, waiting for the right opportunity mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Not coming back. No. Leia <laughs> well, gets that ball up to her forehand. Uh, that's good night. Watch out. Wow, Rob is one of the best at getting balls back that you think, ah, I got him. No, you didn't. Gets behind that, great athleticism, and gets that ball back in play.
That's a great job there. Great defense from Jansen and Bernstein, especially Bernstein there. A couple mm -hmm. resets on Nunnery had a couple putaways that were taken away. Little off balance from Jansen there on that shot. Oh, Drake almost taking that one off the chin. <laughs> ball kind of died on Rob. He did have the angle mm -hmm. there. It looked like around the post, but it kind of ball sat on him and died, and he wasn't able to get it enough underneath it. Oh. Little miscommunication uh, from Jansen and Bernstein. Ends up in a mistake. Ball out. Side out, 2-5-1. Great hands on both sides. Bernstein ends up on the winning half of that point. Yeah. Job getting back in this point, David and Nunnery. Oh, great job. Great defense from Vivian, David, and Rob Nunnery to get back in that point after they were on their heels and end up winning that point. All right, 3 5 2 here. job. It's hard to notice, but Jansen and, and uh, Bernstein had control of that point mm -hmm. uh, from a dinking perspective, but David and Unry did a great job of getting out of that, all the pressure they put on and winning that point. Tape love for Bernstein. How about the athleticism of all four people out there on this court right now, though? It's pretty oh, incredible it's to see some of these balls that they're able to get that you think there's no chance. And the, the hard part about it, and a hard, it's just hard to notice it because they make it look so effortless, Eddie. Mm -hmm. It's just the average everyday person is going to be sprinting to some of these balls, and you're seeing all four of these players get the ball, get to these balls with some grace. Well, and also the ability to then be able to reset the ball when you're stretched out and running and sprinting. Mm -hmm. Most people will go hard in that situation. And No, you're exactly right, Eddie. They just make it look so easy and able to get to these balls on full sprint and then just reset it, drop it back in, and get right back in the point. Pretty incredible. Sorry, 
That was trouble right away. Um, Rob had a good Ernie. Drake blocked it back. I'd have liked to see Vivian drop that back in and let Rob get back in the point. She tried to hit a winner, and Rob wasn't able to recover in time. And there's that speed up I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Drake taking advantage, being able to speed that ball up, put the pressure on, and Rob ends up hitting it out. Drake laughing that off because he knows he had that winner on his paddle. That ball's put away 95% of the time from him. It's what he was waiting for. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good attack there from Leia. And you gotta see more of that out of her. She has that control, has that ability to roll that ball like that. She needs to put that pressure on. There it is again, mm -hmm. right there. She's able to recover on that. So even if she hits that ball, that forehand roll and Rob's able to block it, it's just a block. So she's able to recover and then hit that ball back behind him. Oh, we got a little roll here from Jansen and Bernstein and Nunnery and David see that and say, we're gonna stop that. That's right. We're gonna take a quick timeout break. We'll be right back. Pickleball Getaways attracts players from all around the world, and uh, we've caught up with Fred and Trish Newton. You've been on a couple trips, right? Absolutely. Uh, Ecuador was the first one, and uh, so much fun, we decided to come to this one, too. Yeah, well, not only fun, but great training, right? Phenomenal training. We were beginners, and we've improved a lot, and it was because of Pickleball Getaways. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back after this timeout. Andy Jones, our absolutely incredible referee on center court, taking control of this match. USA Pickleball certified referee. And if you guys are just joining us, we are live from the Pickleplex in Punta Gorda, Florida. This is the American Pickleball Tournament hosted by Lauren Stratman and Deckel Bar, who you will be seeing on this court again in the very near future. Oh yeah, shortly after this match, that's gonna be a good one. Lawrence Stratman, Deco Bar versus Abby David, or Abby Brooks and JW Johnson. Oh, seeing Leia looking at, at Drake going, I like it, I like it. And I absolutely agree. I like that aggressiveness from them. They have to be able to put that pressure on. Four eight one here in game two after Jansen and Bernstein lost game one eleven nine. David and Nunnery able to take that first game. And there it is right there. They must have had a little conversation at the timeout, which led to uh, a little smiling there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, Eddie, you and I, we know what we're talking about sometimes, right? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. We get the best seat in the house to watch some of these matches. Sometimes we pick up on stuff, right? That's right. <laughs> now just going out on the court and applying it. That's yeah, the yeah, hard that, part. That's a whole other story, yeah. buddy. In my brain, I'm the best pickleball player ever. Aren't we all? There it is. Again, there's that attack, that forced, forced mistake. Oh. Again, Leia looking at Drake going, I like it, I like it, keep doing it. And that's what's got them a 9-4 lead here in game two. Yeah. 
Okay. Who started that one? Mm-hmm. So it's it's almost the opposite of kind of how I'll go and tell my students. It's like be patient. Don't be the first to attack a lot of times from especially a lower position, but we're talking different level of pickleball here. Mm-hmm. You know, these players able to adjust after they attack. Well, I think it's also their confidence in their ability to be able to defend the counterattack mm-hmm. as well. For sure. You know, I know some players who prefer to be on the defensive. They they set that up intentionally. Correct. Is that Webby? Likes being on defense? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. No. Yep. Gosh. Wow. Mark that point. Somehow, someway, mark that point. Mark that timestamp. That is absolutely incredible. Yes. That's the best point of the day so far. Point of the day so far. Wow. It's going to be hard to top that one here. Mm-hmm. I mean, Drake and, Drake and Leia had a couple winners in there that Vivian and Rob got back. And there it is. Great attack from Rob. Yeah, I got him with the old chicken wing. Mm-hmm. Too much from Drake. Just too good, too good from Leia right there. But there's a, a ball right there that I thought Vivian could have attacked a little earlier that she was in game one and is not now in game two. Yeah, just caught that corner yeah, with that. Yeah, did. Drake thought it was out. Mm-hmm. Leia turned and goes, no, it was in. Seen a little momentum swing here. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I think you need a timeout here. And there it is, right on cue. <laughs> Almost uh, like you called it, huh? <laughs> But that's a good timeout right there. They need to stop that momentum. They had a 9-4 lead, and mm-hmm. now it's cut down to – a two-point lead here in game two, and they need this game or else it's over. So good timeout. That's right. What are some uh, what are some things you think they'll be talking about here during this timeout to maybe stop the momentum? Is that what they'd be going for here, stopping the momentum, kind of refocusing? What are yeah, your thoughts? Yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing that they need to change. They need to stay on the aggressive. Um, they just kind of got away from it a little bit right there. Um, but, again, Rob and Vivian doing a great job of being able to put some pressure on themselves. And in saying, you're seeing this in, in this game, and you saw it in game one, and I've seen it in game two. The team who's putting the pressure on first is coming out on top of a lot of those battles. And at this level, you know, that's what you get. So we'll see if uh, Leia and Drake can get back to that aggressive nature here and get this side out and get back and take game two.
Oh, wow. Just a little over hit mm. there. Doesn't need to do too much with that. They had him on their heels. Just keep him back there. But great patience to just right. keep resetting that ball, wait for your opportunity, hope that the other team maybe makes an error, and that's what happened. That's a big point here. And get this side out. They're still up one. And there it is right there. That's a big side out. You do not want to let them tie this up. Now you get one point, and you're one point away from winning this game, too. Nice job. The only difference there was that Vivian and Rob were looking at each other to take it. No mm -hmm. one was aggressive enough to take that. Now we got a game point here to force a game three. Oh, uh, Drake just a half step late. He read it just a half step short. There's game two, 11-8. So we are going game three. It's just what we want, Eddie. Well, you know, I know the players don't want to go game three, but we do. The fans do, right? The fans do, exactly. That's right. We'll have game three coming up for you guys here very shortly. Don't go anywhere. back here on center court in Punta Gorda, Florida at Pickleplex for the American Pickleball Pickleball Tournament hosted by Lauren Stratman and Deckel Barr who Lauren just walked past. Deckel is back here signing autographs <laughs> and uh, they are up next on center court. They'll be playing Jay, oh no, they're playing Abby Brooks and J.W. Johnson. So another great match coming up next. That's right. But before we get to that, we got a decisive game three here between Leia Jansen and Drake Bernstein and Vivian David playing with Rob Nunnery. So two tight games to start. So we'll see how uh, game three shapes up. Rob Nunnery asking, how much longer do I have? Using every waking second. Drake giving him grief, telling him, let's go, old man, get on the court. <laughs> Somebody should tell uh, Rob, it's a little, it's not that hot out for him to be sweating that much. No, but Rob does sweat quite profusely. So serve will be with and in the hand of Vivian David to start this game three. So we will switch sides at six. And here we go, zero, zero, two, game three. Olea just says unacceptable to herself as she dumps that ball into the net. She likes to self-coach. She does. And there's that nice yeah. attack from Drake right there. You know, I had the privilege of having Leia Jansen, Corinne Carlet, uh, Lauren Stratman, Maggie, Remenzi and Andrea Coop play at my club about a month ago, came down and trained and uh, worked on a lot of stuff with Leia. She was asking questions about what I was seeing and whatnot. And she's implemented a lot of what we talked about into her game. But again, seeing someone that young, aggressive, and just 
absorbing knowledge in every match she plays. It's absolutely incredible. She's going to be someone not to mess with coming up in 2021. Representing Grand Rapids well? Yes, she is. Oh, great reset there by Vivian. Oh, that's a great shot by Nunnery there. A couple balls that Vivian David, I thought, again there in game one she was attacking. In this game, she's not. In game two, she wasn't either. I think for them to be successful, she needs to attack a little more. Uh, off the tape from Rob. Gets Drake midsection. And we're at 2-0. That's great job. So Leia is reading Rob's foot backhand really well. She's seeing it. I can almost kind of see it from here too. Not disguising it as well as I think he would like. And Leia's kind of sitting on it. So she's ready for her every time he's hitting it. It's a great shot by Leia. I, I don't mind that though from Vivian. She got points off that earlier. Um, and, and I don't think that's a bad shot. Leia was just uh, way too ready for it. Oh no. Great job. Good leave there. But I do, I still, I still like it from Vivian. I want her to attack a little more right there. That's a good attack there from Leia Jansen. And here we go, side out, 1-2-1 one, one here in game three, deciding game. Winner goes to the winner's bracket final. And is guaranteed a top three finish. There it is. I also like to see Leia do what she just did right there. And as she's going cross court with Vivian two, three, four, five, six, seven times to reset to Rob's backhand and just force Rob to get involved, maybe make a mistake, maybe he's cold. It happened there and they were able to get the point. Two, two, two. Ah, 
That's a great ATP by Leia. Great patience, letting that ball travel, get outside the post and get as low as possible. Last second hit it. Rob almost blocked that though. Oh, oh wow. Drake just a little <laughs> out of control there. The monster forehand. Yeah. Great defense from Vivian right there. job there I just I see just more control from uh, Leia and Drake in these points they've got Rob and Vivian on their heels moving a little more than I think they would like Vivian needs to attack mm -hmm. that ball I was there. That. there it is yep Oh, I see. Is that confusion? We talked about game two. They left that ball go in the middle, and that's the same thing right there. They got what they wanted, and I think if either Vivian or Rob goes for that ball, it's a winner. But they just let that ball float through the middle. But I did like that attack from Vivian there to start that. Just missed. Clip the top of the net. By the way, we just got pizza delivered from Martina yes. Coakley. I mean, really? Full service here, right, Eddie? Thank you, Martina. You're welcome. Thank you for doing such a, an amazing job. It's all we're, Eddie. We're trying to... No. Yes. It's all Dom. No, no, no. Aw, oh, look at us. But we do have pizza. We do. See that reset here. There it is. There it gets Drake involved. Oh, Leia just wow. pulled it a little bit. Great point, though. Great job by Vivian and Rob. Played a little defense, reset. Great job getting back in that point. And we're at 3-3-1. Three, three, Great job. Good pressure. Way to keep them back. They were never able to get out of uh, the transition area there. the attack by Vivian we're talking about there and she ends up on top of that. You know, Dom, you make a really good point here. She has been winning a lot of the points when she speeds it up and we're getting aggressive with those balls. Yeah, without a doubt. And that's... Uh, in in game one, she did it a ton. We were talking about right away saying, I love this, this, this different kind of Vivian David where she's attacking a little more. Totally went away from it in game two and it was still close. But I just think if she does that a little more here, it's it's, it's going to be to their advantage. Mm. Rose Rosalind, Rose Rosalind, Matanaki Anderson, 
Oh, wow, great defense from Vivian David right there. Forcing Rob just a little frustration, overpowered it and pulls it out. David and Nunnery take the lead, 4-3 here. In game three of the semifinal. So we got a timeout here from Bernstein and Jansen at 5-3-1. So Nunnery and David take the lead here after being down 3-2. Take the lead here at 5-3 five, th five, and are one point away from a changeover here. Some great points, great action here. Um, this is our first semifinal match, our second semifinal match there. In waiting right now, we have Lauren Stratman and Deco Barr, our hosts, getting ready to play Abby Brooks and J.W. Johnson right here on center court. We'll have that match shortly after this one concludes. And Eddie and Webby, or just Eddie, Webby's not here. Eddie and I have a couple slices of pizza. That's right. <laughs> Rob taking every last second again. Always. Every last second in his beach towel. Doesn't go anywhere without it. Oh, off the timeout. That is not how they wanted to come out of the timeout. Now we got a minute for a change over here. They're going to switch sides. 6 3 1 in favor of David and Nunnery in this third and deciding match. Bernstein and Jansen taking a long walk. Drake does not look very happy right now. Neither does Jansen. But uh, if they're going to get back in this, they need to get their head right, get back in, do what they were doing in game two and the beginning of this game to take charge. Players back ready to go after that changeover. David and Nunnery were ready to go as soon as they got to the other side. <laughs> they got the momentum in their favor, so they want to get back on and get going. Good leave, just out. They need one more of those to get back in this, but great patience. Um, but again, on the other side, I'd like to see Nunnery and David with a 6-3 lead here, try and put some pressure on. Uh, you got the lead, you got the momentum. Put some pressure on, see if you can steal a point here. Uh, and there's one right there, but that's an unforced error from mm -hmm. Jansen. She wants that one back because she hits that all day. Vivian backed up just too much, and her mm -hmm. momentum was carrying herself back. She ended up reaching for that backhand. Let's see if Bernstein and Jansen can take advantage of that and get back in this here, down four. Oh, good leave. Even though Nunnery and David had that advantage mm -hmm. right there uh, off of Vivian's attack, I liked it. Nothing wrong with it.
That's what they needed right there. They needed a mistake on the other end. That's one of very few in this third game from Nunnery and David. They've been playing a very clean third game. Great got exactly what he wanted right there. Just a little too much on the backhand flip. But good pressure on the dink from Jansen right there on David, but David did a great job playing defense too. Really? Right back in it, Eddie? I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll just let this point speak for itself here. Mm -hmm. Wow, absolutely incredible defense on both sides of the ball. I don't know what happened over that. Rob, it's not the sun. He almost lost that ball that went up. He let it bounce. And Drake and Leia were able to come back in. And actually, I thought at first it might have been the sun, but it was behind him. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me here? Oh. Just long right there. Wow. Another great point. <laughs> Eight five two. That's a great shot by Drake. You see that one legged flamingo reach, you know. Drake's not the biggest guy in the world, but uses every mm -hmm. inch to, to get out there and put that ball away. Oh, Vivian, yes. absolutely incredible. Great hands, great put away. Great battle, great work. I think Leia had that last ball she hit was off the line. Great control to reset that ball to Rob. Great patience there. We got 5 8 1 here on the side out. Oh, sorry. I believe it's 6 8 2 now. I apologize. We have a timeout called. It's, oh, I'm going to blame it on Eddie. <laughs> I don't know why. Do I don't know why, but. But another great long point there from both sides. This match has been going on a while. Well, I got to tell you, I feel like the rest of the bracket has been delayed because of this match here. And this does have the feel of a medal match. Both teams are coming right. at it with the same level of intensity, but also patience. And you can tell all four of them out there really mm -hmm. want this victory. And, and think of it this way. The winner is guaranteed money. The mm -hmm. loser isn't. So this is a very important match even though it's not a medal match yet. So it, it puts you either in the money or out of it right now where you got to work back to get into it. Mm -hmm. So this puts the winner in a good position, obviously, to take home some money no matter what, and the loser's got to do some work to come out. So again, Rob Nunnery on cue, using every second <laughs> of his time out. Six, eight, two. 
682 here after the timeout. There's Vivian, just the legs, how low she gets on those dinks. Incredible gets from both Vivian and Rob on the other side. Vivian smiling because although she, she missed the final shot, she had some incredible uh, drops ability to get back into the point. Absolutely, without a doubt. And not only is she smiling on that, she'll smile on winners, miss hits, dinks, putaways, mm -hmm. everything. She's always smiling. That's right. <laughs> the great trade of hers. Looks like uh, both of the balls are broken now, waiting on the other referees to replenish. As we come back in from this referee timeout to get a new ball, we'll be 7 8 2. Jansen and Bernstein serving. See, I, I, I just like that that change of pace from Leia. Just going to Rob on that backhand side and just involving him, and it just changes the whole point right there and takes them out of the rhythm. That's great point there from David and Nunnery. And we are... At eight, eight, one, game three doesn't get much better, Eddie. It certainly doesn't. Oh, that's a good move by Rob on the Ernie. Kind of unexpected. And caught Drake. We got nine, eight, one in a lead here for Nunnery and David. Yeah, it's not coming back. That, yeah, That's a huge backhand from Drake. Great pressure from Jansen right there. Good side out. See if they can get back in this here at 8-9. Again, Eddie, it's the same thing. I, I like her doing that because Vivian's just putting her in a rhythm by going back to her every time. Vivian's not resetting the Drake and involving Drake and changing the point up. You're just putting Leia in too much of a, a rhythm. Rob, a little net love. Mm -hmm. Gotta appreciate the effort though. Absolutely. Just short of diving, she almost <laughs> yeah, had that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, great shot. And we got a game point a game set or game match point here on the paddle of Jansen and Bernstein. 10-9-2. See if David and Nunnery can hold it off. Wind picking up a little bit as this point started. 
And there it is. Great job from Jansen and Bernstein to take this game three, 11-9. So after dropping game one, Jansen and Bernstein come back 9-11, 11-8, 11-9. I mean, it really doesn't get much closer than that. <laughs> Buzzer, I agree. Buddy. That was an incredible match. We're going to have plenty more of those coming your way here today as we wrap up the Pro Mix doubles here live from the Pickleplex in Punta Gorda. This is the American Pickleball Tournament hosted by Lawrence Stratman and Deco Bar. We're going to be back with plenty more action coming your way. Don't go anywhere. Hey guys, it's Eddie, and I want to thank you again for tuning in to the American Pickleball live stream hosted by Lawrence Stratman and Deco Bar. But I'm joined here again with Martina Coakley. What's going on, Martina? Hi, Eddie. Thank you so much for having us. We're so excited to be at Pickleplex. Yeah, this place is awesome. This tournament has been great so far. But I think a lot of people out there might want to know a little bit more about what American Pickleball is. American Pickleball is a patriotic pickleball company. Uh, we are supporting military, veterans, and first responders. Um, this is very important to us as my husband is active duty military, still in the Army. Uh, we have another four and a half years left till retirement, but till then, we decided that we want to start American Pickleball and give back to the state of Florida first, start um, hosting best pickleball events around the state of Florida, and then possibly um, host somewhere else as well. Do you have any other tournaments coming up through American Pickleball in the near future? Our next tournament is going to be at Fort Myers, January 22nd. A tournament after that we're hosting in Sanibel Island, um, February 12th to 14th. And then one after, it's going to be in Palm Beach Gardens on the East Coast, March 26th to 28th. So sign up on PT.com. We're so excited to be hosting. Well, that's great. Well, if people want to actually follow you or find out more about you, how do they do that? So follow us on Instagram, Pickleball Fashionista or American Pickleball. Also follow us on Facebook. We are still trying to figure out Twitter. We'll be there too, but this is it for now. Well, that's great. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Martina. And let's get back to some pickleball action. Yes, Eddie, I'm so excited. Thank you.